on just 50 minutes program. So I welcome here Rajiv sir. He's a very renowned faculty, very great professional, a startup coach, entrepreneur, CEO Bajan and Bajaj Corporate Chambers. Thank you so much, sir. Please take your session. Thank you. Thank you, Sudish. Uh, first of all, I must compliment uh, you for this initiative uh, on, uh, you know, doing your webinars on a regular basis. So <clears throat> since you called me and uh, you said that uh, uh, this is the first uh, uh, such uh, program and very uh, relevant topic uh, you chose uh, on startup. So I being a person who is these days working in startup space, yes, sir. I, I, I thought it is the most uh, apt uh, uh, occasion for me uh, to uh, join all of you and uh, talk about uh, the startup culture which is uh, getting built up. And uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> every initiative is a startup, no? Um, even uh, even this is a startup which you are starting. No? And uh, Thanks, <clears throat> we all uh, uh, being a compliance professional and uh, uh, who else can be better than uh, uh, all of us uh, who are coming yes, from the company secretary's background or a legal background to guide and uh, you know, motivate the startups and give them a complete solution because, uh, you know, when these startups are uh, uh, looking for uh, help, I think we are the most qualified people to help the startups because uh, uh, it involves right from their uh, uh, ideation stage to uh, helping them in formation of uh, the company or LLP or whatever they are th thinking and uh, uh, give them some kind of a direction uh, how to conduct the business and how to move forward and uh, uh, also how to uh, uh, be successful in the startup space. So uh, a very good in initiative by you and uh, uh, I think we have around uh, 40 minutes you said yes, sir. Uh, to talk about this subject so let me uh, take you through quickly my uh, presentation and then uh, we can uh, in between if you feel you have any questions or any uh, uh, points to be discussed you can uh, yes. ask for the relevant questions and definitely I'll be too happy to uh, cover that. So uh, when, uh, you know, the uh, startup culture in India, as you know, is evolving, right? Uh, we, uh, if you look at the numbers from January 2016 to December 20, uh, there are uh, almost 41,317 uh, startups which are recognized by uh, DPIIT, which is the uh, department which controls the startup space and uh, there is an investment of uh, uh, 4,509 crores uh, which is uh, uh, made in uh, just 384 startups through the fund of funds scheme of government of India and uh, they have reported a job creation of 4.7 lakhs people so which is quite a, a big number. So startup culture, uh, uh, you know, when Mr. Modi uh, took charge uh, in January 2016, they declared that, okay, they will start this Startup India initiative. And uh, that is how, um, uh, you know, he said, never dream of becoming something. If you dream, dream of doing something. So, uh, which is very relevant. And uh, that is how uh, the... Uh, uh, startup culture is now spreading. It is almost uh, present uh, in 590 plus districts of India. 44% uh, of the uh, uh, startups have one woman director. Now this also thanks to the Companies Act and thanks to the uh, environment uh, we have. Uh, uh, there is a lot of scope for the professional uh, uh, lady company secretaries to get into this role of a woman director and uh, there are almost uh, uh, 
uh, you know, 30 uh, states and union territories in which uh, all this initiative is uh, being uh, expanded. So, uh, I think uh, if you look at uh, the whole space of startup, uh, things are moving in a very uh, great fashion and uh, it is turning out to be a very uh, big uh, uh, support system for all these startups who are uh, trying to uh, to uh, basically uh, evolve uh, and this culture is picking up very fast. So uh, as I said, we company secretaries have uh, a lot of uh, big role to play uh, in the startup space and uh, we are the ones who, who can actually guide the uh, startup uh, uh, mentors and uh, startup uh, entrepreneurs uh, both uh, for uh, expanding their horizon uh, in uh, you know uh, the country and uh, uh, of course the uh, uh, initiative has generated lot of employment opportunity uh, it has generated lot of uh, uh, investment opportunities also uh, it has given a uh, uh, fillip to the people who are uh, actually uh, trying to uh, uh, expand their horizon uh, in the startup uh, uh, space. And also uh, uh, it is a, a kind of a support for everyone who is uh, uh, trying to work in the uh, startup uh, as, a, as a startup, uh, you know, entrepreneur or a startup uh, uh, person who is setting up a startup so um, any 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 uh, 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 i think it's better to keep the whole thing interactive so uh, let me ask you a question uh, any of you uh, what do you what do you expect when you say uh, you are uh, uh, you know having a startup uh, so what is, what is the first thing which comes to your mind you can you can uh, uh, maybe unmute yourself and speak or you can put it in the chat window whatever way you are comfortable what is the first thing which comes to your mind when you say you are uh, you want to have a startup or uh, what is a startup when general public facing any problem and he converts his idea to that idea to in a solution mm -hmm. to making it to all public so a startup is a platform where an entrepreneur comes with an idea to convert his idea into a solution so it can help to general public and at large uh -huh. okay that's interesting uh, what else anybody else Anybody else have any thoughts about the startup? So, uh, uh, you know, the uh, as uh, Sudish very clearly uh, mentioned, it is all about the idea and a solution or problem and a solution, right? Now, uh, uh, when we are uh, offering something to uh, the individuals, uh, there has to be some kind of a uh, uh, idea. No, there has to be some kind of a problem which the public is facing. Now that uh, uh, problem uh, definitely needs to be handled, and uh, uh, you you are kind of giving a solution to uh, uh, the uh, to to the public, right? Now, uh, this is where I think uh, uh, we, we all uh, have to focus on. Uh, there has to be a, a, a solution which you are looking at, right? Uh, uh, because uh, uh, look at uh, OYO, for an example, right? OYO uh, was uh, uh, germinated out of a problem that people were not getting hotel space uh, in the uh, uh, maybe... Uh, what they wanted uh, in the uh, areas where uh, uh, they they actually uh, wanted to expand 
for example, somebody is traveling from one city to the other city, you go to a new place, you don't uh, know what which hotel is better, what kind of standardization is available. So there was a problem. And he came out with a solution that, okay, he made a standardization of hotels. He brought them online. So at the click of a button, you, you can book a hotel space. And that is how you can uh, uh, move forward. So uh, like this, you must identify uh, what is the problem and how effectively the solution can be given. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we all know uh, the uh, startup culture and we all know that how uh, startups are evolving in India. So uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, when you as a professional, you are guiding a startup, uh, you must uh, uh, kind of, you know, support them by uh, giving their idea or making their idea a proper reality, right? Now, look at these numbers, very interesting, how the startup, uh, registered startup have increased in India. Uh, in 2016, this number was only 504. Uh, in 2017, another 5,400 were added. 2018, we had... 8,900 more added. We had 11,000 uh, uh, startups uh, added in, uh, you know, 2019 and uh, 1.5 lakh jobs were created. And uh, interestingly, uh, in the lockdown period also, uh, 2020, we had 14,000 plus startups. Now, and they generated 1.7 lakhs jobs. Uh, so many startups mushroomed, which were based on the e-commerce. And if you look at, look at this uh, graph, uh, the green uh, shows that there are more than one, uh, you know, startup in um, a particular uh, area or a district. So, so this shows that we are all well spread. Uh, the recognized startups are uh, spread all across India and they are growing and uh, they are moving fast <coughs> so uh, uh, i think uh, the journey of a startup uh, and a startup entrepreneur has to be understood and we we must uh, uh, you know uh, understand how uh, the startup uh, uh, culture is evolving in india uh, but when you actually uh, you know uh, are uh, talking to uh, the young entrepreneurs and uh, I keep uh, discussing with the a uh, uh, lot of uh, people who have uh, entrepreneurial ideas and they are uh, trying to set up a new startup of their own. Uh, they are not very clear uh, about what what is their vision and what is their mission. So uh, I think uh, that is where I professional comes in you must uh, guide uh, the uh, those startup entrepreneurs and some of them are very young you know some of them are uh, you know just grads who have come out of the uh, uh, maybe have done MBA or they are uh, IITians or people who have gone abroad for studies and come back to India to start something of their own um, so so uh, it's a it's a different class and uh, as a professional we should uh, actually uh, you know try to uh, look at uh, uh, what are their uh, uh, ideas what are they looking at and then give a proper vision and mission to them because unless a startup is very clear about uh, uh, you know what is their uh, what is they want to do what is uh, it that they want to achieve and what is it that they want to uh, actually uh, uh, you know deliver uh, to the people as a solution uh, you you will not get uh, uh, that kind of uh, you know solution from uh, them so uh, I think as a entrepreneur uh, or as a mentor or as a uh, coach to the startups uh, please you uh, focus on guiding them on their vision and mission and uh, uh, how many of you uh, know about pitch deck how many of you know uh, what is pitch deck 
pitch deck is about a video which in which we tell what is the product how it works and what are the services how it how it works and all the things about that start a product yeah uh pitch deck may be a, a video or it can be a, a maybe ppt uh, which is yes. a, a, a kind of a 15 pager uh, slide uh, you know uh, which can be converted into a video also uh, but the whole idea of pitch deck is because when you are uh, um, you know when you go to the market uh, people don't know you right and uh, every startup needs the funding right so yes. uh, in funding also there are uh, various stages there are angel uh, uh, investors uh, there are seed funding uh, Uh, uh stages and uh, uh you know uh, the uh, boot boot bootstrapped uh, funds are also there uh, so uh, that uh, uh, you know when when you are actually uh, uh, kind of uh, helping a, a startup so you must actually help them with the pitch deck also uh and through this pitch deck they can uh, convey to the uh, probable investors or the people who are uh, going to invest in the startup uh, as to what is your uh, uh, you know basic uh, idea what is the problem statement you are handling what kind of solution you are offering is it sustainable or not uh, the market is looking for such solution uh, with a lot of acceptance or not uh whether uh, that uh, thing will work uh, with the people who will be actually utilizing your services uh, you will you have repeat customers or not uh, if you are looking uh, uh, if you are suppose a marketplace and uh, uh, you have membership or uh, you have people uh, repeat, you know coming to your website or something then what is the probability of a repeat uh, Uh, customers coming into you and uh, um, uh, also uh, what is your uh, kind of uh, return which you can offer to the investors what is the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, kind of growth or valuation you can offer to uh, the investors in terms of uh, uh, you know um, uh, for example can you offer kind of a 2x returns to them over a period of time what is the exit route for the investors all these things are uh, covered in the pitch deck so uh, when we are guiding uh, the uh, startup investors uh, i think uh, we should uh, uh, you know guide them on the pitch deck also and uh, we 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 must uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, you know uh, take them to the next level and uh, uh, also show them uh, you know how uh, the uh, uh, the growth can be achieved uh, through the uh, uh, pitch deck uh, and how they can present themselves to the uh, probable investors so uh, now let us look at uh, uh, the uh, top 10 sectors uh, in the startup matrix uh you know if you if you look at uh, uh, the um, uh, just i'll make it a slide show now uh, if you look at the top 10 uh, sectors uh, it services definitely uh, then healthcare and life sciences this is something which is evolving over a period of time um, you have education edtech startups are also uh, very much in demand Uh, uh professional and commercial services startups are also there food and beverages agriculture agriculture let me tell you there is a huge huge thirst of um, uh, you know in agriculture space and a lot of startups are uh, coming and government also and ministry of agriculture and rural development also is uh, uh, you know very much gango ho about uh, uh, you know bringing more and more startups in this space finance technology uh, you see a lot of uh, insurance uh, based startups and other startups uh, technology hardware uh, you you see a lot of uh, uh, 
construction startups, green technology. This is also something very much in. So uh, if you look at the uh, process, uh, I just try to uh, bring it here. Uh, of course, the idea has to be there. There has to be some brain or intelligent person uh, behind that idea. Uh, you you uh, set up your targets. You do your research process is made and uh, uh, how you plan uh, your startup and definitely with a planned uh, uh, activity you have to bring in investment either it is a bootstrapped investment or your uh, you invite um, uh, some people to invest in your company and uh, of course the whole idea is to achieve success uh, and uh, move forward so uh, you know let's look at uh, the startup readiness level i think someone wanted to uh, have uh, some kind of uh, example about it. Uh, you know, um, this is basically uh, not about a shiny pitch deck. Uh, you must have a proper five-year business plan. Uh, it has to be evidence-based, measurable, and uh, 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 progression towards a viable startup with a clear, uh, uh, you know, milestones. Uh, all startups don't follow the same uh, predictable route. So uh, you must judge uh, from the uh, activities of the startup whether uh, they are having that kind of potential or not. Then um, uh, investments is super imp important because uh, without money, nothing runs. So you must uh, look at uh, the investment part. Uh, the uh, startup readiness level as a guide, uh, uh, you know, uh, of course, entrepreneurship uh, has to be uh, judged by the progress, uh, you know, which you make. So, um, how this readiness level can be judged? I just thought, uh, let me share a few uh, points, pointers with you. Uh, first, define your idea very well. Uh, so, be very clear. Understand the problem. Uh, uh, you know, you, you, we already discussed this part that, okay, problem has to be there and you must uh, understand uh, what problem uh, and then explore the potential solutions, uh, of course, validate the product and solution. Now, this is very important. Uh, unless you validate your product and solution, uh, you talk to at least 10 people around you, you talk to your friends, relatives, uh, people who are uh, actually guiding you or you become mentor uh, to startups so uh, you can help them doing this exercise so suppose they come to you at ideation stage you be uh, a guide or mentor to them uh, discuss their idea thoroughly critically with them uh, find loopholes uh, in their idea and then uh, look at the product and a solution Build and validate. You no, know? uh, this is also very important because uh, after the uh, uh, the whole concept is ready, you must validate that and uh, reach out to people uh, who are uh, who may be actually your potential customer or uh, people who may be uh, kind of uh, looking into your uh, whole idea. The validate product from uh, you know and uh, whether it is a market fit or not. Now, this is again, uh, uh, you know, uh, your product should be such that people want to use that repeatedly. You know? uh, it's not that uh, they, they use it once and they, then they don't want to use your product again. So, uh, this is where I think uh, you have to uh, come in and uh, uh, you have to make sure that people don't want or they hate uh, not using your product. So, they, they love your product. And uh, uh, you must validate the revenue model. Uh, that is also very, very critical and important because at the end of the day, it is all about revenue. Uh, if you don't have a revenue model, uh, you, you cannot uh, be successful. Uh, value, uh, validate the value delivery. Uh, again, mm, you know, if you have a product, but you are not able to deliver that product or you are not able to offer it to the customer in a very effective way, uh, then also doesn't make sense, right? So uh, you must validate the value delivery. Uh, 
uh, and uh, if you are guiding a startup as a mentor you must look into this aspect uh, and uh, very critically examine it and then guide them uh, validate the growth now um, uh, if you are not growing uh, suppose you set up a startup but uh, okay you are uh, able to service only five people six people uh, or suppose you are uh, setting up a chain of something and uh, expandability is not there uh, so uh, after setting up two units or three units you cannot expand further so uh, that kind of uh, uh, you know um, uh, startup will definitely uh, uh, face challenges in getting investments uh, in getting uh, traction from uh, the people who are looking to uh, put in their money see concept is also important but then that uh, whether that uh, growth uh, uh, in that startup is going to be there regularly that is also very very important and uh, you must validate the growth and do the unicorn uh, so uh, uh, as you know that uh, uh, you must uh, you know kind of uh, have a unique idea and become so big that uh, uh, you become a unicorn so uh, um, how many of you heard about this minimum uh, viable product concept anyone what is minimum viable product yes I, sir yeah are you clear minimum viable product do you know that Pudi? not confirm but something that is a uh, something different and has a less cost uh, than its competitors and very useful to the large at public at large yeah so so minimum uh, like viable, a product sir yeah minimum viable product is uh, your idea itself is uh, you know uh, is validated suppose uh, you know uh, we, we took an example of oyo right or for example yes. ola uh, now uh, unless uh, ola has uh, a kind of product which is useful uh, and which is uh, tested uh, so uh, nobody would have thought that this will work right uh, mm, uh, nobody would have thought that uh, uh, you know the kind of uh, uh, value they created out of uh, just a space where there was a problem statement problem was that uh, if i want a taxi for myself uh, uh, if there was no organized player and i would hunt for a uh, maybe a local vendor who is next to my uh, my house or something and still i'm not sure whether that fellow will arrive on time or not right so they created a uh, kind of a product which is liked by the customer uh, they were repeated customers uh, they uh, created a service model where uh, they maintained the quality uh, uh, you know i am so sure that if one driver is refusing the other one will come right so uh, i i i i am very much confident about the viability of the model which i am using so uh, minimum viable product is uh, when uh, you know the raw product that is not uh, the need of the consumer uh, you know mm, yes enough features to attract uh, the uh, uh, more and more uh, uh, you know uh, so i think it's giving us a 5 minute message huh? all right so we must rush it out so uh, so it's a most viable product that you think should be built right so um, uh, steps to evaluate your idea of course stay objective you must be very clear uh, use the lean canvas to identify your assumptions uh, for example whatever idea you have you must have a canvas to uh, you know so uh, here i took example of uh, lexo lexo which is uh, 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 legal marketplace so uh, the problem was that startups don't get a uh, proper legal help or lawyers so solution was created and online marketplace they created for uh, the uh, getting legal help identify your assumptions and uh, spend some time to uh, reach out to people 
uh, and uh, create a canvas where uh, what are your problem statements you write and uh, give a solutions to the people. Test your assumptions around the problem customers and existing solutions uh, so that your product viability is uh, uh, you know uh, considered and product viability is uh, all about uh, you know uh, and keep learning about your customers all the time. So um, at the end of the uh, whole chain, it is the customer, right? So whether your product is being repeatedly used by the customer, you have something, uh, uh, you know, where you are creating a marketplace where people are going to use it, use your uh, this thing, uh, big basket, for an example, you know, people wanted groceries, yes. so they created a solution. Uh, there is a, another uh, uh, very interesting startup called Milk Basket. Uh, they identified a problem so statement that people have to get up early just to go and fetch milk, right? So uh, their business model is, okay, the milk is delivered at your door, doorstep. Uh, 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 you know, when 5 a.m. Uh, their person will come, they work whole night. Last order they take is till 12 o'clock in the night, 5 a.m. Uh, the uh, uh, whatever you want is delivered. They started with milk. Uh, now they added everything. So they added groceries. They added uh, you know. Uh, so scalability is there in the model, right? Breads, everything, and they are not supplying to everyone. They targeted certain uh, set of societies where they deliver. No. So uh, uh, their customer is also very targeted. So you are very clear uh, as to how. And now they got, uh, I think Tata's have invested in them and things like that. So government of India has fund of fund schemes um, where a uh, uh, lot of funds are available with the government to help startups. A lot of grants are available. Uh, if you want to guide your uh, uh, people who are coming to you for startup, uh, feel free to connect with me. I'll be happy to help. Uh, in India now we have already got unicorn clubs uh, where uh, 2020 list you can see uh, Cars24, uh, Unacademy, uh, you know Pine Labs and 2021 also uh, see uh, Digit Insurance, uh, you know Urban Company, Jetta, Bharat Pay. So all these are uh, you know examples of unicorns. So we have a good future uh, on startup space. Uh, there's a huge opportunity for we professionals. So uh, do uh, uh, focus on startup space and start working in this area. I'm sure you all will gain uh, a very good uh, uh, professional uh, happiness. Uh, and uh, it is a happiness of giving uh, back to the society also because you are actually helping in generating employment. You are actually helping in entrepreneurship. You are helping people in earning money. So uh, it's a win-win situation for all of us. So uh, that's what I wanted to say. Sudish, over to you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing the information on startups so deeply. And we highly thank you for the taking this session on very short note again. And keep sharing your...